So I've noticed when Notion makes subtle changes, we often end up with fundamentally enhanced workflows. It's then that we realize that these changes were in fact missing links in our productivity. These six changes aren't just tweaks, they represent fundamental shifts in how we use Notion every day. So stay with me as I uncover what makes them so impactful. Sometimes removing elements can help you focus on what truly drives results. Notion revisited the call out block, aiming to keep it clean, simple and distraction free based on how users typically use the product. Users primarily focus on three key elements of call outs, the icon on the top, the border surrounding the blocks and the content itself. Within the content, we often use various formatting elements such as block titles, headers, bullets and checkboxes. Now you can create a callout block as a simple box without any text or icons and you can add them only when it's needed. You can insert a chart, a database, a headline, a toggle heading or a series of checkboxes or any other Notion block into this space. So I aim to predict outcomes for different scenarios by adjusting key parameters in charts or in databases. Now this allows me to simulate worst case, best case and most likely scenarios, helping me identify the best use of my time. Notion databases are no longer just storage blocks and charts aren't merely pretty pictures telling a story. Let me explain. As a video creator, I'm always searching for engaging topics that you, the viewers will enjoy. I maintain an extensive database where I continuously add in new ideas, considering whether they are evergreen or trending. I'm also aiming to diversify my content to appeal to different viewers' interests. When I create a chart from this database, I can filter it by specific groups like Notion, Apple, Productivity or AI. Now within these groups, I can identify popular topics to choose from. Notion's new feature allows me to dynamically select topics and outliers, helping me create videos that are likely to resonate with you guys. Once they introduce the drill down feature, I won't need to return to the database individually. I'll simply click on the chart to quickly view the source information. So images have a remarkable ability to capture attention and to convey information more effectively than text links, making them more clickable on your Notion canvas. Our brains process visual content much faster than text, which is why images are so powerful. Images can also break up the monotony of text heavy pages, enhancing the overall engagement. Now image hyperlinks can be incredibly useful for things like class notes, CRM contact cards, website courses or interconnected flashcards. To add an image hyperlink in Notion, you simply click on the ellipsis, the three dots, choose more options and select add link. Now there is an alternative way you can press the command plus K or the control plus K on Windows and insert the link directly. So I frequently navigate between different Notion pages. One method is to use the keyboard shortcut command plus L or its control plus L on Windows to paste the URL at the top of the page. Now there is an alternative approach. Notion has introduced a feature by allowing us to create a button, customizing the button name and embedding a page link within it. Now clicking this button takes you to the linked page and you can create a similar button on that page to return. I use this feature multiple times an hour, especially when working with my idea database and competition database inside Notion. Writing, analyzing, editing and debugging Notion formulae has become much more convenient now. So as you select properties for your formula, you will notice that the property type appears alongside matching icons. This visual aid allows you to quickly verify if your properties are linked correctly when you're reviewing your formula. I constantly use Notion AI to improve my writing directly within Notion. While you can copy text from Notion and paste it into ChatGPT for results, Notion's built-in AI offers a much more seamless experience. This user interface in Notion clearly displays corrections and refinements to your existing work, allowing you to accept changes or request further improvements. Now here are two power tips. 
First, select more text to provide AI with better context, resulting in better improved output. The second is to try adding a new sentence and then asking AI to improve the writing. You might find that even previously rephrased sections that AI has done shows significant enhancements. To learn more about creating this incredible formula, and I use this daily, watch this video. And to see how I use Notion charts with seven different daily examples, watch this video.